Want to use autofocus on a professional camera? We're going to tell you about it, if it's worth it, and why. I'm GeekBeat. Coming up next, I'm Michael Arxis. Check it out. Canon released the C100 and C300 a few years ago, along with the C500. All are stellar cinema cameras. They shoot beautiful, crisp images. A lot of people have complained not only with DSLRs, but with this cinema line, that they don't have the ability to shoot autofocus. Well, now you can. If you own the C100 or C300, you can send them back to Canon. They'll swap out the sensor, put a new sensor in for 500 bucks, and when you, they do that, you'll get the ability to do autofocus as long as you have autofocus lenses attached. That's EF L-series glass with a full frame circle ring. Now, here's the deal. You can buy them new if you buy them today with that same sensor in. It's $500 more than buying the camera with the other sensor in that doesn't have the autofocus. I'm not a huge fan of autofocus, and with this camera, or both of these cameras, I found it works sometimes and it didn't work other times. Here's the biggest key. You have to know what you're doing. You have to anticipate what the camera's gonna do and what it's gonna focus on because it doesn't know what you wanna focus on. It certainly comes in handy in certain scenarios. It's not good for sports and it's not good for a lot of movement, but it can be good if you're in a strange environment or a peculiar situation where autofocus is the only way. In fact, it can be good for many other things, including rack focuses and live performances. You just have to make sure that it grabs what you want and that's all done through anticipating what the camera is gonna do and how it's gonna react and getting to know your camera. But you really need to do that no matter what the camera is. So all in all, I would say this is a worth it feature, especially because if you're ever gonna resell the camera, you wanna have it because the person buying it probably is gonna want that. So you wanna increase your resale value. But in addition to that, I can think of at least 10 or 15 times I would have used it over the last few years, which make it worth it to me for the five 500 bucks, especially when you're dropping seven to 15 grand on a camera. I think eventually we'll see this in the C500. Now I want you to know it's not the same autofocus system that's in the 70D. And the reason why is because the 70D has a touch screen and you can literally touch the screen to change where the focus is. And that's a really nice autofocus system. But this is a dual autofocus system, dual pixel autofocus, and it works pretty well. You can use it for rack focuses too. It works a little bit better on the 70D, but it still works good here. It does struggle a little bit in low light, but even in this low lighting environment, it can get the job done. Sometimes it does search for focus, but you have to realize that's what autofocus does. So if you want to do it accurate and 100% all the time, use manual focus and learn how to focus. But if you don't want to be searching and pulling focus all the time or you're shooting by yourself, Autofocus can certainly do a great job for you. So all in all, I think it's worth getting this sensor. I'm Michael Artsis. Thanks so much for watching GeekBeat. Be terrific.